Alright guys, I am finally checking out Decidueye. Today I am in ranked. I believe I'm veteran at class 3. I'm not really sure why they're coming. Maybe I'll just rotate. Anyway, I was going to be in the top lane, but since Ninetales did go up there, we're going to go ahead and go to the bottom lane instead. Not a big deal. Anyways, I got Decidueye about 2 or 3 days ago, so I'm a little late on the realization that there was a new Pokemon. Anyway, so far, Decidueye feels like a glass cannon. He does really high damage, attacks really quickly, focuses on physical damage, but if he gets hit, he just kind of falls over dead. So I really gotta try to position well, which so far, uh, yeah, that's a little bit harder than I thought it was gonna be, because a lot of times you get collapsed on. Sarah Aura did rotate from the jungle try and pick up some kills. He is doing a really good job. We should be able to out damage this heal here. Go ahead and turn in. Does seem like we have a pretty good team because we do have Garchomp and Snorlax who are good at peeling so I'm hoping they'll be able to keep people away from me. I am going to take Shadow Sneak. I've tried the Leaf Storm I think it's called and that one's a knockback which I, I wouldn't have it for a while anyway. I just wanted to mention that. Why is because I feel like that knockback one kind of forces me to go forward a bit. I was trying to hold it until people were trying to come towards me, but it wasn't really working well, so we're going to try something a little bit different. Wow, there's three people down here. Oh no. Oh, I'm dead. Oh. Please don't take the berry. Thank you. <laughs> Anyways guys, um, the item I picked up, the reason I forgot to mention this because I got distracted, the focus band is what you saw just healing me up when I was about to die there. I think it actually saved my life. It gives you, I believe it said 14% healing for 3 seconds after you drop to low health, but it also gives you some defense, which so far seems to be really important on Decidueye. So I'm running with that, the muscle band, because I want my attack speed to be higher, because... He's all about attack speed. And then I'm using the float stone. Now I've seen variations of the item build where they use the scope lens. I'm not really sure if that's better yet because I haven't used it yet. Uh, mm, should be able to interrupt from here because I have a fairly high range on my auto attacks. Anyway, I picked up the float stone because I want to be able to reposition. Because if I walk out of position, which I will, then you need to get as far away from people as possible. I don't know if I mentioned it in this video or not, but you get more damage the further you are away from other Pokemon. Your attack speed kind of amps up, so the more you hit somebody, the higher your attack speed will be because it stacks, and then when you get that boosted attack on your third basic attack, it shoots out more quills, which means you do more damage. I bet you they're getting Dreadnought, but I'm not the- obviously I'm not the best, because again, I mentioned I'm a glass cannon, so we kind of have to wait. Grachomp is down here, but he doesn't look like he's coming this way quite yet. Oh, they weren't even- well, yeah, they were. They were here because it's at half health. Half health. Wow, tongue twister. I'm gonna pick up Shadow Sneak here. Uh, oh, I thought he was gonna die. I'm like, do I need to stay back here with the Zara Aura? But he's alright. He's okay. It's fine. The Shadow Sneak is actually a sure hit, which is awesome. It also means it's easier, <laughs> in my opinion. You fire it off and it lands. Got it. Super convenient. I do believe it lowers your opponent's movement speed and it does damage in an air. Oh no, it does damage in an area. Okay, I only meant to back up en enough. Oh, sweet. The ultimate move, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of it. It does do a lot of damage, but I find it really hard to re-aim it, and I'll show you guys that when I use it. Oh, no. Ah, yeah, I'm dead. Anyway, it's like you fire it off and it shoots quills in whatever direction you have it aimed. But if you try to, like, re-aim it, depending on your sensitivity of your controller or whatever, yeah, it's very difficult. Because, like, any motion 
like moves it a lot so I find it pretty difficult to re-aim it so a lot of the times I just don't re-aim it and let it just fire off in the direction it went off in. Okay, should I rotate top? It looks like War Turtle is down here. We could fire off the sure hit. Um, I'm probably dead again because I walked a little bit too far forward which again is why I took float stone so I could reposition. It wasn't enough to save me there but that was my bad. I wasn't really thinking about the fact that I was walking too far forward. It looks like Rotom is up in the top lane. Dreadnought is going to be up in about 10 seconds or so. Ninetales is getting collapsed on by like three people and I'm not the one to be able to help them. I heard the gather- I mean I can obviously see there was a gather here ping. I don't know where it was at though because I missed the location part of that. I am doing a lot of critical hits and I'm starting to wonder why that's happening. Is it because I'm attacking so fast? Like I didn't see critical hits as a thing that he was good at. So maybe that's why I've seen people building uh, dis Decidueye. I don't know what I was trying to say there at first with the scope lens instead of the float stone. Um. Okay, it looks like they already picked up Rotom. <laughs> I gotta be so scared. Okay, we're gonna fire this off. And I'm not gonna move it. Okay, I'm gonna try, but you see how much, like, it, it moves so fast. It just moves so fast. <laughs> also, you can't see, like, I, I know there's a way to move your camera, but I don't remember how. Which is probably just a me problem. Oh, Charizard. So we get that increased movement speed. We're gonna pop the shadow sneak. I guess I don't need it. You're on fire! All right, we got one minute until Zapdos comes up. It looks like Ninetale is rotating down here, and now there is a Blastoise. Sure hit, sure hit. Hey, nice. Oh, I'm going back for the heal. At first I'm like, why am I not going with nine tails? Because I'm low and know that if I get hit again, I'll probably die. Snorlax ulted. Okay, it looks like he's chasing down the Charizard. Uh, no, don't attack the Pokemon. The neutral one. Zero Aura is here. Fire the sure hit off. Don't know who it hit. It hit somebody. I was gonna say surely it hit somebody, but then I was like, mm, that's a lame joke. <laughs> the final I need to go back and heal before I go oh, to Zapdos. Right. The team is playing very well. I'm not sure if I even turned in much this game. Where's the team? I need my defenders. Stop attacking Zapdos, they're gonna- Okay, never mind. Oh no, they got it. Oh, I'm stunned. Not the stun. Uh, what do we do here? Mm. Uh, I can go down here. It looks like they might be going for the center turn in. There is a Decidueye here. I'm going to hit him with the sure hit and try to get some auto attacks off. We have Pikachu here focusing me. Don't kill me. No. Aw, oh, you suck. <laughs> but can you kill a Snorlax? Oh, they have both the jungle buffs too. Not, I'm not sure why you use the shield there. Looks like Garchomp is actually at their base. Ah, jump faster, go! Oh, did I interrupt? No, I got there one second too late. Feels real bad. I'm getting out of range. My ult didn't go off. Is it doing any damage? Like, <laughs> what? Like, I know it was hitting them. Okay, all right. We see a Charizard on the other side of this wall with zero aura. I do have 44 that I didn't get to turn in. Five, four, three, what a goal. 
Oh, we turned in the 72. Is that the clutch turn in that we need for victory? I turned in 42. I mean, that's more than I expected. Anyways, guys, like, what items do you like best on Decidueye? What build do you guys prefer? I was also wondering if he'd be any good in the jungle. See, the thing is, he's a ranged assassin who gets more damage for being further away. So I feel like that might put him at a disadvantage in the jungle because you're pretty close to the neutral Pokemon. But I'm going to have to try that out. Anyways, as always, if you made it this far, thanks so much for watching, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Bye!